In this video, I'm going to show you how to EQ your guitars or any other instrument using the sweep method. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And I do that through tips and tricks and tutorial videos just like this one. So if that's your bag, consider subscribing. We're here in GarageBand and I'm going to show you a cool little technique that I've been using for a while to EQ my guitars, my vocals, my bass, any instrument, any sound here in GarageBand. And it's the sweeping method and we're going to be using the LRC5, a free EQ plugin here in GarageBand. So let's jump in and get started. Now we're going to go a bit old school in this one. This song is For The Birds, a song that I wrote, recorded and released in March 2018 as part of a songwriting challenge right here on the channel. In fact, I'll link to the full series down below if you want to check it out. It sounds like this. <laughs> So there's a lot going on here. We've got a bunch of bass guitars, guitars, acoustic guitars, drums. We've got some pianos and strings. We've got everything in this track, but we're going to hone in on this lead guitar just as an example of this method of EQing. So if we come in here, let's take a listen to this guitar by itself. It sounds like this. little lead guitar riff that is playing up there. Now, this guitar riff, when I first recorded it, had a little bit too much treble in here. So what I did is I came in here to my visual EQ and I actually reduced down. You can see here, I gave it a boost here in the bass and the mids, and then I reduced the treble and I just use the standard visual EQ. And remember, if you want a refresher on EQ, all EQ or equalization is doing is turning up and down the volume at different frequencies. So all I've done here is turned up the bass, I've turned up the mids, and I've reduced the treble. Now that resulted in an okay sound. If we turn off the visual EQ, the guitar sounds like this. And if we turn it back on, It just flattens out some of those treble sounds. It's not quite as harsh. And in fact, the reason I'm doing this video is one of my viewers, Jonathan, shout out to you, uh, has been asking me about this. He's got some guitars recorded and he's been trying to tame some of the high end. He's got too much treble in the guitars. So what I'm actually going to do here is show you how we can use not the visual EQ here, which is fairly limited, but a very cool free plugin, which I've showed before called LRC5. This is a free EQ plugin that you can download and then use in your GarageBand project. It's a five band parametric EQ. And what I wanna do is show you the sweeping method that I use to EQ guitars and other instruments. So let's show you that right now. So to add in our LRC5 plugin, we tap on the mixer icon in the top left. It may be on the top right if you're on a smaller iPhone device. We then tap plugins and EQ. We hit the edit button here, this blue edit button, and then the green plus. And then we tap over here on audio unit extensions. And if you've already downloaded it, and there'll be a link down in the description if you haven't already got this plugin, we scroll down, we tap on LRC5, and then we tap on the little icon here, and boom, we are here ready to start adjusting our EQ. So what we have with LRC5 is a five band parametric EQ. So at the top here, we can adjust this. We can add a shelf to our high end by moving that one up and down. At the bottom here, we can add a high pass filter or a low cut filter, depending what you want to call it. And then in the middle, we've got three of these peak filters that we can turn up and down and move side to side to different frequencies. Now you can also select multiple by tapping on say all three and move everything. So when you're using this if you want to use just one make sure you tap on just that one and move it up and down now for this method what I'm going to do is boost this one all the way to the top because what we'll be doing is I'm going to play back this track and I'm going to sweep from side to side and see if I can find the frequencies that I don't like because those are the frequencies we're going to want to reduce or cut so this is called subtractive EQ as opposed to additive or increasing the the volume at a different level we're actually going to reduce the volume. But to find the volume we want to reduce, we're going to turn it up to start with. So let's start here. We'll scroll across to the left. Let's start around 1000 hertz. You can see in the bottom right, the green numbers will tell you that we're at right around 1000 hertz and we've boosted it by nearly 24 dB. So what I'm going to do is hit play and you'll actually hear that we've boosted these trebles and I'll sweep across to the right and see if we can find these frequencies. <laughs> Right, 
right, so I've found a frequency there that I'm not really liking, right up here around about 3000 hertz. So what we can do now is you want to reduce that. All we need to do is actually drop down at that frequency. So we can now come back to the start here, play our track again, and... It's reduced at that frequency, but it gets better than that. If we want to really pinpoint, so say we really, oh, we've selected both of them. Say we really didn't want this frequency here. We'll turn it back up again and play again. We're like, we really hate that frequency. Well, if we tap on this, now you're not gonna be able to see this very well, but I'm gonna grab two fingers and I'm going to tap and separate my two fingers. And this is what's gonna happen. It's called the Q measurement, which is how wide or how narrow it is. So if I bring my fingers together, it's going to go very wide. If I pull them apart, it's going to go very narrow. And you can see there as we scroll right in, we get what's called a notch filter. So we can actually notch out just that frequency. If we bring this down, instead of now impacting a lot of the frequencies around that, we can reduce just that frequency. So let's play this back now. There it is reduced. And there's just that frequency, right? Now there are other frequencies in here that you may want to change as well. So you can do the same here. We could actually do another sweep with another frequency up here and then reduce that. And once again, if we tap on that one and grab our two fingers, we can spread again in order to get more of a notch filter. So you may find that there's a few different places that you want to notch out. And of course, the same thing works if you want to boost a frequency. So if we found a frequency we really liked that we actually wanted to boost, say somewhere around here, you can actually do the same thing. So by sweeping around and finding those frequencies, you can dial in the sound. And that may not be exactly what we want to end up with, but you can see how powerful this can be is that we can sweep around, find the frequency and then reduce it all using the LRC5. Now you can of course do this with the visual EQ. You can do the same thing. We can come up here, we can sweep around and then we can reduce, but you get so much less control because there's no Q control and you've only got three bands as opposed to the LRC5 where you have, funnily enough, five bands. I hope you found this useful and you can use this with not only guitars, but vocals, any other instrument or audio track that you're having trouble with where you want to reduce a frequency. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.